16.1b Complete the Square Rational Solutions If x squared equals 9, then there are two solutions for x. 3 and negative 3. We can write this as plus or minus 3. To complete the square, separate the variables and numbers, which would be the C part of our quadratic. We divide everything by A, and then we find C and add to both sides of equal sign. Let's take a look at how that works. In example one, we want to get our numbers on the other side of our equal sign, so we have the variables on one side, numbers on the other. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. We do not have a number in front of our x squared, so we don't have to divide by a. So now what we have is x squared minus 1x equal to 6. We want to find one half of our one, so we have one half times one quantity squared, which is going to give us one fourth. So now we have x squared minus x plus one fourth equal to 6 plus 1 fourth. So our B part, x for this right here is going to be 1 half times 1, which is 1 half, bringing down our sign here, quantity squared equal to our 6 plus 1 fourth, which will give us 25 fourths. Now take the square root of both sides. So we now have x minus 1 half equal to plus or minus 5 halves. Add 1 half to both sides. We have x equal to 1 half plus 5 halves, and we have 1 half minus 5 halves. So we get x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6, so we have 6 halves, which would give us 3, and then we have 1 minus 5, which would give us a negative 4, so we have negative 4 over 2, which would give us a negative 2. And so those would be our solutions. In our second example, we have 3x squared equal to 15x minus 18. We need to get our variables on one side, so we're going to subtract 15x from both sides. So now I have 3x squared minus 15x equal to negative 18. We do have an a, which would be the 3, so we're going to divide everything here by 3. That's going to leave us with x squared minus 5x equal to negative 6. Okay, we need to find our b and c. So, 
or I should say we need to find our C. So we're going to take 1 half times 5 and square that. So we're going to get 5 halves and then we're going to square that. So we get 25 fourths. So now we have x squared minus 5x plus 25 fourths equal to negative 6 plus 25 fourths. Okay, so now writing this in a perfect square, we have x minus 5 halves quantity squared. Remember this comes from this right here equal to, we have negative 6 plus 25 fourths, which is going to give us 1 fourth. Take the square root of both sides. So now we have x minus 5 halves equal to plus or minus 1 half. Add 5 halves to both sides. And we get x equal to 5 halves plus 1 half and 5 halves minus 1 half. So we get x is equal to 5 plus 1, which would be 6. And 6 over 2 is 3. We have 5 minus 1 would be 4. And 4 over 2 is two, and we have our two solutions.